People that are too dependent on chat GPT. What are you using it for? Yesterday there was a post about chat GPT being down. That sparked a thread where everyone was agreeing that they have grown too dependent on chat GPT. That made me curious as to what everyone is using it for. If you don't mind sharing. Since I only use it periodically. It gave me a bit of FOMO like I wasn't using it to its full potential. I'm not even kidding. I will put in one of my boss's emails in chat GPT and ask it to organize this information for me. Boss is a financial guru genius if you will. But he has zero writing or communication skills. For some reason, chat GPT understands him very well. Does a great job of organizing other people's disorganized thoughts. I like to use it to brainstorm ideas for projects at my internship. I don't code. It's a great starting point where afterwards I can take it from there. But the idea generation is critical for me. I use it to write cover letters and work emails and things all the time. It does a better job in less time. I used it to tutor me in an abstract computer-related subject to help me pass my professional certification. A lot of people complain about it being wrong but I haven't seen that yet. It has completely replaced Google. Code API documentation. Stack Overflow. Etc. for me. Any programming question I have. Chat GPT answers with explanations and code. Sometimes the code needs a little bit of tweaking. Or it uses a deprecated call or two. But you can just say. That didn't work. What else could it be? Here is the error and it will keep trying. In the very least it gets you on the right path one hundreds of times faster than Google searching. I use it to brainstorm topics and headlines for my newsletter and to edit things I've written. I don't take every suggestion it makes word for word. But it does a great job at cleaning up my thoughts for me without making me sound like a robot. I use it like Google. I don't have to hunt around for websites for simple answers and deal with ads. Can you tell me the evolutionary history of nori seaweed? Is it closely related to any land plants? What is the difference between a cedar and juniper? Can you recommend any scientific magazines of high journalistic integrity? Can you explain in simple terms the difference between systolic and diastolic? Show me an example of a dichotomous key. All of these would be 10 minuet web searches. Therapy. I use it for coding. It usually doesn't provide a perfect output. But it gets me started which is always the most difficult part for me. I'm using it to answer any question I get throughout the day. It's pretty much replaced my brain. I use it for the brainless part of my simulations computational physics model analysis mostly I. Tell it what sort of data visualization I want and it spits out the code in seconds. Sometimes I also derive the equations. Write them in latex and have him turn it into code. Cover letters. I am looking for a job. I send 10 personalizers letters a day thanks to the GPT. Code. I use it to prep for DD sessions. A lot of the ideas it gives are super boring and generic. But it does give me a jumping off point for thinking of my own plot threads. Answering work emails in a way nicer way than I have energy for and doing my reference lists. I'm a 27-year-old man-child who never learned how to cook. I've loved using ChatGPT to write meal recipes without any BS backstory it seems to always have. Grant Ritting I'm using it to help me build a business model and develop marketing strategies. It also helps me brainstorm product lines.
I use it for learning Dutch. In the first prompt, I ask him to converse it with me and correct any eventual mistake in my sentences. Then I chat with him trying to use Google Translate as less as possible. Much more entertaining than doing exercises. Chat GPT is more useful than most of my co-workers. It's basically became my personal assistant now. I mostly use it for assistance with writing code or debugging various issues. It's also great to talk with it about technical issues like an interactive rubber duck. I'm really curious if anyone in this thread talks about getting a social media account off the ground a new one. Either using a social media marketing strategy created by ChatGPT or actual post ideas suggestions, including hashtags. Getting a new social media account started is hard. It's ridiculously difficult to get anyone to see your posts on Twitter or Instagram unless you're commenting in other already well-known account posts, piggybacking off of their viewers. Dungeons and Dragons. I have it create NPC generate looks, races, age, unique speaking styles and tidbits of info they would give to someone they just met and a more detailed response if they're persuaded to tell more. It is also great for creating small towns outposts, and trade routes. I haven't used it for combat encounters yet, but I am going to test it this weekend. Summarizing large complicated engineering reports. Writing routine engineering reports using templates and Excel data. With the new code interpreter in premium it can do a lot of number crunching and data in seconds. That would take me an hour or two now I just need to check the output is correct. Basically any repetitive office task that involves writing or Excel I know how to easily explain to it in advance. As an ESL teacher I use it to summarize difficult texts and generate comprehension questions on videos. In combination with Whisper AI it's made my classes way better. Recently taught it how to make cahoots too. I'm a maintenance worker at a hotel. And it helps me identify chemicals and come up with quick fix solutions for when shit breaks down. I used for my mid-year self-evaluation. Fed it my accomplishments just a list really and put in both the job description from when hired. Four months ago so had handy and goals pushed down to me and team. I asked it to merge how my accomplishments mapped to the goals and job description. Played with for a couple hours tweaking and was really happy with end result which was received. Well by my manager. Mainly to help debugging logs. It is very time consuming to understand complex relationships in large log files. You still need domain expertise to formulate your question. I learn very well by asking questions. I'm the kid in class who asks a million questions. And only half of them are good questions. Chat GPT is my patient question answerer. Because I have no limits to the questions I can ask. Chat GPT makes me an expert on subjects pretty quickly. Or tells me where to look. Instagram captions for our woodworking business. I use it for book recommendations. Today it recommended The Professor and the Madman. Speeds up coding for me usually so I'm not dependent on it. But the client is getting billed a little more if I have to do it myself. On a practical everyday things level it is so good for cooking instructions and gardening info. I.e. how long to cook chicken kebabs on grill. Or what plants you shouldn't plant next to eucalyptus.